All right, guys, welcome back to the Nerd Cave. I've had a bunch of you guys ask me about uh, how I was making monitor adjustments, especially when I had that monitor that looked like a TV sitting on the workbench. It really was this same arcade monitor, but it was just inside a TV housing that I'd repurposed. Uh, so it's still an arcade monitor. I'll show you guys, a lot of you maybe have not seen this on the back and how we make adjustments on this. So I'll open it up and kind of show you how that works. And I need to make a few adjustments over here on this as well. All right, guys, well, this is what the back side of my arcade monitor looks like. And you can see here along the bottom, I've got several different adjustment knobs, as well as a few up here on the neck board as well. And uh, these are all printed, I believe, in Chinese. Um, so I actually had to find a cheat sheet, but I've got most of them memorized from now. So I've got uh, red, green, and blue brightness, and then brightness overall here. Um, and then I've got a horizontal adjustment. I believe that's size, um, but it might be position. I've got to look at my cheat sheet. This is the pincushion adjustment. Um, and then we've got a couple of vertical adjustments, uh, vertical hold, horizontal hold, and horizontal size or position, the other one of this. So, um, and then along the side over here, we've got the flyback um, transformer. One of these, the top one, is a focus adjustment on the screen. The bottom one is a screen brightness adjustment. So I'll take you back around to the front and kind of show you how we adjust this. All right, guys, well, my battery died on me while I was making that last uh, video segment and adjustments on the screen, which I have <laughs> just completed. Uh, but I'll throw it back out of alignment and show you kind of how we how I adjust this. So uh, one of the first things I do is I get a, a game I like and I'm going to play a lot on here like CPS 2 and I get their test patterns up on the screen. OK, if you go into the service menu on these games, you can usually get test patterns like this. OK, so all I did was adjust my horizontal width and size, vertical width and size, and position. Um, and I'll show you how those move things around here. I do really need to do a little bit of pincushion adjustment up in these corners, but I've got it tweaked as far as it will go. This is about as good as I can get it on this tube and this chassis. But uh, <clears throat> What I use is just a uh, cheap little dollar store mirror that I can use to kind of see the screen from behind here while I'm adjusting these different knobs. So something like that. Okay, and uh, this is that pin cushion adjustment that I was talking about. That is as far as it will go, right there, which uh, it's not too bad, but I've still got a little bit of it going on in the corners. <clears throat> and I've got my uh, vertical adjustments here. That's pretty good. Okay, the other thing we did, or I did off camera, was I adjusted the screen brightness and uh, individual color brightness. And I do that in the color menu here. And uh, I started with bringing the screen uh, down, darker. The, the screen adjustment's the one on the flyback. Um, however, I was maxing out the brightness knob on the, uh, the the board, not the not the flyback one, but just the regular brightness. So I had to bring screen up a little bit to compensate for that, and then bring my regular brightness back down. So this is the brightness adjustment on the screen. Okay, and it's uh, pretty good, right about there. And then this is the screen adjustment on the flyback. 
So they kind of do the same thing. Um, so if, if one isn't doing it for you, back it down and use the other one. And then I also adjusted the focus, which is on the flyback. That's about as good as I am going to get that. I've got individual knobs that I can adjust for, say, the red color to make it brighter. You'll kind of see you, you're blowing out your reds up here and over here and even on white. So you want to get everything balanced on that as well. Good, so let's see what the game actually looks like. pretty good to me. Let's see if I can zoom in on some of those for you. Last thing I like to do is just try a different system, different game, just to make sure I haven't adjusted it so far that something else is going to look wrong. So, like I said, I play a lot of Neo Geo as well, so we'll try one of those. looks pretty good. It's filling the screen. There's probably a, a little bit of overscan there, but I think overall it looks fine. Alright guys, that's about it. Thanks.